Hey everybody, we are live doing an unboxing. Yes, I know it's crazy. If you're watching this after the fact, you can still see the entirety of the unboxing, so go ahead. If you are on now, please give a shout out. Paul is also mic'd up and we will definitely say hello. And um, any questions you get while we're doing this bulk unboxing, please ask. So we've got some people on already. Yes, Ashley's already online. She says, hi from Southern Illinois. Can't awesome. wait uh, for this live video. Clark West Trading says, hi guys, I'm finally able to watch live, yay, you guys rock. Awesome. Uh, Sarah H says, hello from the UK. Awesome. I believe it's Yimmy, uh, Yimmy Reyes, I might have that wrong, says, hola. Sass Girl says, hey. Shane M says, hey you guys, happy Friday, can't wait to watch this and see another church service on Sunday. Awesome. Well, great, thanks for watching that too. Uh, Linda says, hi from Michigan. Awesome. Naomi says, hello from Maine. Kendra says, hello. Uh, Michelle says, hi, you two are amazing. Uh, Kathy says, hi, from Decatur, Alabama. Gerald says, great uh, to see. Hello. Awesome. Uh, Diane says, hi. Thomas O'Keefe says, morning, y'all. Midwest Mama's Adventures says, hi, you two. <laughs> I love the names. I do, too. Uh, it's Jen again says, hi, from Kentucky. Just ordered my first shoe case today. Awesome. Um, uh, Amia... Hustles says hello from El Paso, Texas. Gina says hello from Nashville, Tennessee. Mary says hi from Tennessee. Chris says hi everyone. Chris <laughs> uh, and and Janita. I'm that might. I'm sorry guys for mispronouncing your names. <laughs> hi from Alberta. Sarah says hi. I caught you guys live. Hi from Galesburg, Illinois. Awesome. Uh, Gladys says uh, yay. I made it on. Rick says. <laughs> Hello, everyone from Tennessee. Ron says, hello from Vol uh, Volo, Illinois. Gone off my rocker says, hi, guys, from Chesapeake, Virginia. Gone off my rocker. I like it. I, I like do. it a lot. Gerald Kramer says, just got my snow boots today. They're great. Awesome. Thanks. Clark West Trading says, here in Chile, Virginia, waiting on my bulk, uh, box delivery. So glad to see you guys live. Michelle says, uh, hello from Wisconsin. Brittany says, hey, love seeing you live. Lou Ann, hello from Sarasota, Florida, and I think I've caught up. Wow. All right. Awesome. All right. So we're just going to get right into it. And uh, if I go too fast, tell me to slow down, ask me questions about stuff. This stuff clearly will not be listed yet because we're doing it live today. <laughs> but um, if you want something, sh give a shout out. We'll try to list those things immediately. First thing tomorrow is the plan. All right. So bulk.com case unboxing. This is an uninspected returns box, 59 total items in it. It's women's apparel and various other things. Um, I paid $126 for it, $30 to ship it to me, so I'm in it for $156. Divide all that out, it's $2.64 per item. All right, so let's go ahead and get in it. Paul, go ahead and give some shout outs while we're opening right. this box. Let's see here. Um, Brittany says, hey, love seeing you live. Lou Ann says, hello from Sarasota, Florida. I already said those two. Uh, Cena says, great. Uh, best greetings from Berlin, Germany. Berlin, awesome. SM uh, Carolus says, good morning from uh, uh, Tucson, Arizona. Okay. There you go. Uh, Christina Edwards says, I'm wanting to do a cons consult call with you next week. Do I need to schedule that in advance with you or just uh, ordering from your site? Just order online, and as soon as you do, I'll shoot you an email. And I've already, um, someone else just sent me a consult today. So I've already shot them an email, and then we schedule what time works best for you. Very so good. So what's wanna... the first item you got there? So the first item I've got is a one of those Leo Rossi's. Leo Rossi. And it's just a black top. Um, got some cute details. Oh, this looks like a Heather shirt. I don't oh think my. it's my size, though. <laughs> Anything with buttons. Heather's Anything usually, with buttons I like. This is she goes a, for it, man. I think it's a medium. Black, Leo Rossi, cute, long sleeve tunic top. What do you think of the condition? Uh, perfect condition. Um, definitely resellable. This will definitely go on the... Most of the Leo Rossi ones go on my Poshmark store. Oh, look, it's a Christmas sweater. We're actually having an ugly sweater party tonight, and so hopefully this is one of our sizes so that we can wear it because we... <laughs> Planned the party and didn't buy ugly sweaters. Yeah. Actually, now we have some, but it was just kind of funny. Oh, man. Oh. Look at that. That looks like my size. Yeah, it does. Oh, the Lord has provided once again. Yes, because Paul needed an ugly <laughs> sweater. And isn't this fantastic? Look, it has a scarf to Oh, go with yeah. It. 
All right, Paul, you're wearing this today. It's probably a women's sweater, but I'm still going to wear it. Yeah. Do you want to see Paul in this sweater? I'll take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it on my Facebook wall, all right? Oh, cool. That does look like your size. Look at that. So it says Feliz Navidog. N Navidog, yes. Feliz Navidog. I think this is your size. It's a 3X. Oh, yeah. So it's probably a 3X women's, which means it'll I'm a large good. man, everybody. <laughs> awesome. Uh, all let's right. see while she's getting ready. Uh, Christina says hello from upstate New York. Deb Brick says hello from Davenport, Iowa. Awesome. Uh, catching July for just a bit. Catching July for just a bit. Not sure what that means. We probably auto-corrected. Auto-corrected. Yep. What do we got now? Okay, we've got a set of PJs, it looks like. Um, looks like it's a lot of after Christmas yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So just a plain black shirt with some plaid pants for PJs. Those would probably still sell all right. Yeah. Let's see. Whitley's Wear says, hello, everyone. Uh, S. Uh, Holmes says, hey, Heather, I can't wait to buy from Bulk again. One problem is... I have no more space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to turn around and show them the reason why we can't oh, buy from bulk boy. right now? Okay. Are you ready? Here comes okay. the turn. Here comes the it's turn. It's going to get terrifying. <laughs> it's getting worse. Mm -hmm. This is why I cannot buy from bulk right now. It's getting worse. <laughs> we just got two bulk pallets delivered, and now I can't literally walk to the other side. Of that area over there, there's four pallets over there. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we have one pallet back behind that well, whiteboard we've been putting trash. Well, if you show the one trash. with the Hewlett-Packard printer on it with the TVs, yes. that one you'll get to see the entirety of the unboxing of that on Saturday. Right. So check that out. That's well, going to be a fun one. A lot of the TVs are going to Facebook Marketplace. Mm -hmm. That's why we're we still have that pallet with right. us. So. Right. Okay. Um, set of Papa PJs. Looks Papa like they're two X. So we could give these to your dad. He That's goes right. by Papa. Emily Barnes says, uh, not so uh, patiently waiting for my first bulk box. Not so patiently waiting. Yes, we You're get it. You're anxious, huh? We get it. What do we got now? All right, we've got a pair of, um, looks like, yoga pants. Yoga size pants. Size 3X. These are great sizes. Yep. Um, just simply because the plus sizes seem to sell faster on Poshmark. Those have been going on Amazon. These have? These Those, pants? I, I remember that blue and white tag there. Okay. Uh, Clark West Trading says, that's hysterical. Shane M says, yes, we want to see. Whitley's Wears, yes, please. Gladys Double, yes, I need to see it. Maybe we should just have you put it on at the, before the end of this video. Oh, I'll hold well, the camera. Maybe. We should. Stay tuned. Oh, boy. We're going to make him put it on. <laughs> Rick says, right. uh, God provides. Isn't he great? Yes. Into that, brother. All right. Here is Here's another shirt. One. Merry and bright. Yeah, it's is that a what lot it of says? Christmas. It does. Merry and bright. Oh, it's was... a nice looking shirt. I but... know. I was reading through the back of the shirt. Size large. Size large? Yeah. So? So I would wear that, but it's not ugly enough <laughs> for an <Yeah. laughs> ugly Christmas party. Uh, We're also doing a white elephant gift exchange or steal from your neighbor, however you call it. Yes. So that should be fun. Uh, Chris says, I know I'm old when I think that's a pretty sweater. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad sweater. It's not a bad sweater. I think it's hilarious. You're a dog lover. You'd love that Police sweater. Police Navi dog. Here is um, a really cute, looks like a there mini dress, go. or you can it can be worn as a tunic. Me and my buttons. Um, she loves Leo buttons. Rossi looks like it's a size large, I believe. Most Leo Rossi does not go on Amazon, yes, right? Yes, so most of it will go on Poshmark. So if you see anything you like, just let us know. Okay, let's see. Amy says, question, when you start a shipment for FBA, how long do you have to ship it? Um, I've had a shipment going for about a week right now. And I'm going to actually finish out with whatever comes out of here and then close out the shipment and probably ship it tomorrow. So right. um, it can take as long as you want. Just be aware that if you have anything expired, you have to be four months out from the expiration time in order to ship that in. So um, let's I, see. Carrie says, hello from upstate New York too. Awesome. Uh, Demetrius King says, hello. Did you ever sell all your Triumph parts? Um, I believe Majority are gone. There might be a yeah, few I need to go. we have they're, left, but they're probably not even listed anymore. Yeah, they're in my other shed. So I do have a few, I think, that are still there. So if you're looking for anything in particular, let me know. Um, I need to go over there and inventory what I have and relist a lot of that. Ooh, this is a cute top. So it's got, that's the back. It's got kind of a fun front, and it's got the cold shoulder sleeves on it. Let me see if I can get a close-up of it. Okay, there so you go. So it's got the crisscross and then cold shoulder. I have no clue what that means, but great. Well, with the little slits in the shoulder. For so a your cold shoulders shoulder. are cold. 
See, you learn something every day. Learn something new every day. Gladys W says, is this uninspected returns? Yes, this is uninspected returns. Yeah, I think you can tell because of the Christmas stuff. The yeah. stores are clearancing out. Yeah, it's That's basically what's happening. overstock. This one is a instant message, size large, with snowflakes on it. It's just a plain gray tunic top. Now, see, this is not Christmas. This is winter. Winter. So you can list it as winter, and you can still sell it. There you go. Let's see. Carrie says, do you have a link to buy supplies from Amazon that you use? Um, no, but I am going to start including my supply guy where I get my poly bags and my bubble and stuff. Um, his name is Mike Ulrich, and I'm going to start putting him down in my description because I've had a lot of you ask, and you can uh, order from him, and he can ship it to you. Great now, guy. he lives local to me, so he drops it off, but he can ship it to you, so that's kind of nice. What is this? We don't know. Ivory Small. Let's see what it is. Whitley's Wares says, wow. Okay. All right, let's see. This is a plain white shirt this is very see-through <laughs> hmm. that's a very long shirt it is a very is it a nightgown maybe i don't know could be a nightgown what do you guys think all right and know. then this one looks like is it the black one maybe yeah or is it a pair of pants let me see oh it's a pair of leggings to go with oh, it oh yeah there you go got a little outfit got a little outfit oh uh, one crotchety one says do you keep all this in your garage um, yes, we store it um, along the wall. We have big, um, they're actually filing cabinets um, that I have basically just not put any of the slots in and then it um, basically becomes my storage one and then I label all the drawers, which color, what style, all that kind of stuff. Allie yes. Robinson says, wow. Corey says, can it, be uh, can it be catching you live for just a bit? Darn autocorrect. Yes. <laughs> Pair of PJs. Berry Christmas. Berry Christmas. We might have to box some of this stuff up for next winter. I know. That's what I'm thinking. And it comes with a cool pair of pants. Beautiful. Medium. Uh, Daisy May says, I just ordered a box just like this. Uh, just got notified that it got held up in shipping due to weather. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't wait to open it. Unboxing is my favorite part of the process. It is. It's a little bit like Christmas since it we're sure talking is. about Christmas so much. Whitley Ware says, how do you fill a whole warehouse? How many square feet? It is 720 square feet, basically a little bit larger than a two-car garage. Um, and so I, um, if you didn't see earlier, Paul did a tour, like a spin tour of uh, what it looks like in here. But it's pretty full. Um, pallets, pallets, and more pallets. There's actually quite a bit of just boxes I need to get moved out of here. Ooh, that's a nice top. Look at that. You always get scared whenever I say, ooh, that's a nice top. Be You're afraid. Because goes into a closet. I might steal it no actually i gotta resell before i do anything this is a 3xl women's top love those sizes perfect yep. condition great resellable condition really nice christina says uh, i so want to get into reselling i love your unboxings and all the fun you all have luann says i have the same problem bulk boxes everywhere <laughs> yes midwest mama's adventure says do you have a store on amazon as well or is that just uh for big business um, I'm a third-party seller on Amazon. Oh, man, we might have to match, Paul. Oh, that would be sweet. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that. I think it'd be even funnier if it was huge on me. <laughs> it's another 3X. It's another 3X. <laughs> that would be huge on you, Heather. It would. I'd be swimming in this thing. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure that's what you want to wear. Yeah, that's an awesome Felice Navi dog. Uh, yeah, we're a third-party seller on Amazon. Yes, we are um, a third-party seller on Amazon. You do have to um, apply to be a third-party seller and have a good seller rating because if you don't have a good seller rating, they will boot you. All right. Let's see. Camilla says, I bought my first pallet from Via Trading. Thank you for the coupon. Awesome. So Great. what kind of pallet was it? I'm curious. Yeah, let us know. All what right. do we got here? This is an emerald green Looks kind of like a tunic top. It's a little longer, but it's got the little gather down here at the bottom. And the Gathered. And then it's got a big wide neck with a cold shoulder option here. So it's an XXL. And I now know, no, I now know what a cold shoulder is. Yes. 
He's getting wisdom. I've gotten Fashion. the cold shoulder. You've got, you've got the cold shoulder. Know what that meant? Not from me, of course. Though. Of course not. Of course not. We but have the perfect marriage. Of course we do. Shouldn't lie to all these people, should we? We're, we're a pastor and pastor's wife. <laughs> right. We love each other all the time. All the time. We never fight. Never. Yeah. Gerald says, "I have solved the wanting to keep everything. I sell women clothing, and I am a man." <laughs> Uh, that's great, Gerald. <laughs> yes, that is. Okay, this one will probably go on Amazon as well because it's that same yes. Marika. It's a pair of leggings. Those are, so, we're getting 12 bucks of profit. Yeah, every time 12 we sell bucks one of a pair those. on Amazon for those. So Let's see, Whitley nice. Ware says, yes. Corey uh, Long says, yes, put it on. Sorry, I'm so behind, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Alicia says, hello from Oregon. Clark West Trading says, I got some Christmas clothing items in my last box too. Are you going to go ahead and try to sell those types of items now? Or keep them until later in the year and list them. We will probably go ahead and list them because it doesn't cost anything to list them on Poshmark. We probably won't lower the price for the Christmas items until closer to Christmas. Like if it gets into November and they're not selling, that's when we'll lower them. Clark, was, Heather and I, we've gone back and forth on this. Um, we had kept from summer. We got some like in spring. Uh -huh. And we did box them up and got closer to the winter months. We may potentially do that with some of this. My favorite people call me Granny. <laughs> That's right. See, that's still to me, that's Christmassy looking. So I don't yeah, know it is. how well it'll go. Hey, thank you for the thumbs up. We're at 20 thumbs up. If you Sweet. like the content, feel free to hit the thumbs up. You there. can also donate since this is actually a live stream. Yes. So Let if me you try to catch up here. Donate, Amy you says, thank you, Michelle or Michael. No, Michelle says, uh, hey, from the UK. Kendra says, uh, do you pay for shipping to Amazon? Um, yes, but whenever I give you my listing prices, I always include that in the shipping, but it's usually about 30 to 50 cents per item is normally where the going rate for shipping is. Right. Here's a pair of pants for you. Boom. I could wear this with my ugly sweater. Yeah, you could. That would be amazing. Actually, I have candy cane leggings. Those are I'm going to look ridiculous. It's going to be amazing. All right. It's all about fun, man. It's all about fun. Uh, Dog Point Movies say uh, hello from the Netherlands. Hello. I have a good friend. Daniel and uh, Heather Boyd. Daniel and Heather Boyd. They have a church in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Luann says, I found that Leo Rossi turns uh, items run large. Yeah, you okay. have to really watch that. Try to measure. Uh, Melissa says, received my box of candy yesterday. Thanks. Awesome. Great. Yeah, we are sold out of the candy boxes. Right, Sorry, guys. Candy. Here is a youth size of that exact same PJ. So if mom and child want to wear that, um, you can wear the same thing okay let's see michael says hello from ohio gladys hello. w do you still have candy boxes no, no i just answered out. that sorry d Keone says i see you uh don't sell any nike uh under armor adidas designers uh sportswear why we um, just they don't come in our liquidation boxes right. we have not found a liquidator that we like to buy from and a lot of times when those things are in the boxes they cost too much for right. reselling via but, trading we have gotten a few adidas uh -huh. um but uh, very rarely do we get Nike and those things. Okay, so. so here is a pack of six bras. Concerning, there's a bunch of gunk, uh -oh. but I'm hoping... Let's see if I can get a close-up for you. It's on the bag. Mm. See, kind of right here, you can oh, tell yeah. by the tag. So can I'm going to pull can that... Can you see that okay, everybody? Yeah, I'm going to pull this out. They might be able out. to see that. It, okay, it's just on the bag. It's not on the That's actual That's better. Garment. So, all right. So Might have to sell that new without tags. Then. Yeah. Uh, whoop, I'm Sorry, <laughs> we're there tethered we and I just pulled yeah. them on. Amy says, I live in central Iowa and we are bracing for two winter storms. Yes. yes. We used to live in the frozen tundra, I mean Iowa. Right. We used to live in uh, Yarmouth, Iowa. I pastored a church there. Yeah, for eight years. We were eight near Burlington, years. Mount Pleasant. Ooh, this is nice. I will not keep it, I promise. I don't know. <laughs> Extra large, not my size, Leo Rossi. Really Ooh, nice turtleneck. Really, really is nice. It is really nice. Uh, Dog Point Movie says, I liked, smiley face, one crotchety says, cro oh, sorry, not crotchety. <laughs> <laughs> crotchety? <laughs> Crochet. I am so sorry. Crotchety. I'm well, trying to read fast. I'm like, hey, one crotchety. I like that. Well, you know, some days you might be yeah. crotchety. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Uh, D. Keone says, uh, Ugg, Calvin Klein, Michael, Lord Polo, sell any of these. Yes. yes, those are good. My daughter just got a pair of Ugg boots, not from us, right. but from her very rich uncle. Um, <laughs> uh, Michael Kors, we get a lot of Michael Kors in the Macy's stuff, and Calvin Klein, we get a lot. We don't get a lot of Uggs. Isn't that she beautiful? 
<laughs> She's a wonderful woman. She really is. <laughs> uh, we don't. I, we have not received Uggs. We have received Mucklucks. Yes. Uh, from that and uh, pol uh, polos. Yes. We get all kinds of different polos. Look at that. Look at that. Maybe I should wear this tonight. Maybe. What's the size? Oh, it's a small. It doesn't fit me. Yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, Jana Hook says, hi, kids. Fun to watch you. Awesome. Hey, if you didn't watch our live stream yesterday, check it out. Janet Hooks was on there, and she talked about poshing um, right. her way. Yes. So. Uh, Whitley's Wear says, uh, how are sales going? Very slow for me. Um, they have slowed down, but we have started listing more things on Poshmark that are worth more items. And so they have picked up as far as dollar amount, but slowed down as far as quantity. Yes. Uh, cool Bean says, I want to see Paul and you unbox together. Oh. We'll have to figure out how to do that. Oh, I have this shirt. Yeah, you do. I kept it. I don't want to Because of buttons. Because of the... I like the buttons. She has a... All right. A problem with buttons. I do. I have an addiction. All right. This is what size? Large. Size large. I already have this shirt, Beautiful. though. I won't steal it. I promise. Uh, let's see. Is it Alyssa? Alyssa, I believe, donated $10. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you, Alyssa. Thank you, Alyssa. She says, thank you for all your content. The two of you work so well together. Here's some cash moolah for coffee and donuts. Nice. He just bought donuts today. I so did. So we're going to be eating some donuts. If you didn't watch our live I stream did. yesterday, we had entirely too much fun with a uh, a slip up where he said something and it turned out to be donuts. And we yeah. had me and mom totally made fun I'm of I'm a it. sucker for anything yeah. donut related. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah, so this actually... Um, says it's a small, and yeah. these ran a little smaller than a small. Yeah. This style with the fuzzy what, what's fleece. What's the brand on that? Um, I don't think We've it has a that. brand. So this one with the fleece, and it had a different pattern here. So what we'll probably do is I will list it probably a size smaller than it is because it clearly, I tried on a large, and it clearly didn't fit me at right, all, and I normally right. wear a large. So um, we also usually try to put our measurements in there. Um, it doesn't have a brand. Let's probably see. because it was some Could generic -y. That's Could probably be. why it runs small. Uh, let's see. Mace uh, Crawford says, Hi, I'm having a building built in my backyard. Nice. Uh, yes. Yay, I will have a warehouse. Absolutely. Awesome. Show us pictures. I would love if you would email me pictures to hookedonpicking.com. That would be amazing. Hey. SM Careless says, I use your coupon for Via. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, a 75 piece uh, HE apparel. That's nice. a Macy's apparel. That yeah. would be good for you. Yep. Look we at these. We have five on, our w on their way. Those are nice. Hey, a pair of shoes. Yeah, shoes are awesome. I didn't realize These we were are getting shoes in this one. A size nine. That's pretty slick looking look shoe. Look at the look at the little I like kinda, the metal detail on I know. it. I do like that. I like that. Those are cool. I Ooh, like them. What's the brand on that? Um it doesn't say. I believe those are Groupon, probably. Yeah, they're Groupon. Okay, let's see. Uh, Racing Fever Triple O says, uh, "How can I boost sales on Poshmark? Right now, I'm lucky to sell one item a week with 12,000 followers. Well, right now we have uh, uh, just over 60,000 followers, mm -hmm. so that does help. Yep. But uh, we share like crazy. Share like a mad yes. person. If you have not seen my Poshmark sharing video, check it out. It should yep. be under the How To section. Right." But uh, if it helps you, there are days that we get four sales, and um, there I think our average right now is seven sales a day. But you know that's average. Look at that Look poncho. At that. It's got a hood. Look at that. That is. It's got two pockets on it, so it's just kind of a. What is that a over. western look? Yeah, I don't know. kind of a western poncho. Of course, every time I see a poncho, I think western look. Like, but it's kind Ooh. of purple. Writes that song. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's like a spaghetti uh, western. Let's see here. Uh, oh, also, uh, Racing Fever Triple Zero. Every Saturday, we go through and we uh, lower prices and discount, and then I'll get quite a few sales, of course. All right, here's that. another one of those PJs. The. Yeah, the bear. The bear ones. Yep. I've gotten three of them. Uh, Alyssa Applegate says, yes, I sold a pair of Christmas-themed PJ pants and sold them on Saturday, so I feel like Christmas items sell no matter what. Yeah, yeah. we'll probably list ours Dumpster then. Diver Dad says, hi from California. Awesome. Look at that. That's Boom. a cool shirt. Boom. Leopard print. Leopard print for your wild side. For your wild side. What size is it? 
trying to find. Uh, Lost Treasure seventy three donated nine ninety nine. Awesome, nine ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? It says coffee time and donuts. Yes, we need us some coffee and donuts. It is getting bad, isn't it? You get the coffee, I get the donut. Yep, that's how it works. I'm never losing weight, friends. <laughs> Camilla right. says, "I it was a pallet of shoes from Macy's. Some will go to my store, and the rest will go to Poshmark. Awesome. Great. Great. So this is a set of four sweatpants. Yeah. Size extra large. So there's a white, a mint green, a gray, and a black. We've been finding so. when they come like a pack like that, you can separate them, but usually you'll find a listing with all four right. of them together. Yep." So I find a lot of the items um, with their title coming from this one. Oh look, oh, maybe there's one my size. Doggy. If it's if it's my size, I'm totally wearing it tonight. I'll probably wear it one night. And it would be it, cool to have matching ones. It would be fantastic. This is a one X, so uh -huh, it's better. We're getting closer. It's closer. It's still gonna be huge on you. What? It won't be that huge. Uh -huh. This one's better. I don't know. Well, we'll see. You might be able to, you might, you could wear a fleece Navi dog shirt. Oh, yeah. You know you want one. Michelle says, uh, does your kids help you with business? Um, my youngest, who is 10, loves to help me do a lot of shipping. So she'll print shipping labels for me. Um, my oldest, we actually just started paying to go um, picking with us. And so he actually loves to go with Paul and do the thrifting. And he's got a pretty good eye. And then he he'll does. occasionally pay with his own money and buy his own item. Um, here's another one of these. Another PJ bear set. PJ set. And then, sorry, I keep getting caught it's on the table. Right. Um, and so those two, my middle child, Lexi, plays all sports, so she has no free time. Right. <laughs> She's she a straight... had her first three-pointer in a basketball game last night. She was so excited. First three-pointer, and they asked her to stay dressed for varsity. Now, That's it was a right. super close game, so she didn't get to. She plays on the JV She's team. She's a seventh grader, and she we're very proud of yeah, her. Yeah, so she got to play with the eighth graders, but she didn't get any play time, but she got to stay dressed, so that was a pretty she, she was important pumped. thing. So a bunch of thermal tops. We got light gray, dark gray, and blue. Yep. For those three. And that those, probably came in a pack. Yeah, again. and those will probably go to Amazon. I usually yes. can get the Angelina ones to go to, to Amazon. Let's see. Kentucky Picker says hello from K Kentucky. Uh, Crow Kentucky Picker lives in Crochet, Kentucky? Yes. No way. That's awesome. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Hey, again, if you like the content, feel free to hit the thumbs up. We're at 50 thumbs up right 50? now. 50? So thank you, nice. guys. Wallace says hi. Hi, Wallace. Uh, Luke and Roger says, hi guys, thanks for this live video, appreciate you. Awesome. Uh, Andrea says, do you ever steam your items before posting to Poshmark? No, because I'm lazy. No, I don't have time for that, and so you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Sorry, that was a <laughs> phrase I always said when I was a preschool teacher. Sorry, I couldn't yeah. help finishing it. Yeah. Here is a pair of yoga pants. I do not steam them. A lot of the stuff from Bulk comes really nice. I mean, as you can see, there's not really any... Right. major wrinkles in these um if you buy from a thrift store some people do um it depends on how much time you have to be honest if you want to go ahead and do that that's a nice thing to do um and it probably takes better pictures uh but i don't know let's see rob d here's another marianne bright oh shirt. great rob d devries i believe says love to watch your live videos during evening dinner with my wife awesome. well, thanks for watching rob thanks for letting us have dinner with you yeah Wallace says, what's the most uh, expensive item you've ever gotten in an unboxing palette or case? We got a camera. The thermal imaging yes, camera. Yes, we got a thermal we imaging camera. We currently have it listed on Amazon for four grand. It's the most expensive. It has not sold. Yeah. And as far as what has sold, we've sold a few things around the $1,000 mark, $900. Uh, right. The time clock. We had a time clock sell for around 900 Right. Or, we also had a uh, – Bulk didn't know what it was, I'm pretty sure – they had it down as metal box, and it turns out it was a. It was a. It was a. Um, a pump, electrical hookup for an underwater apparatus for like a pool or whatever, and so yeah. it was just a silver metal box, and it was labeled general merchandise, and we actually sold it for around four hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, that was a really. That nice was a cool find. There. Here is a pair of nice high waisted dress pants, super soft, right. stretchy. Uh, most expensive clothing item we've sold is uh, just over $100. We sold a, a purse for over $100. So most of our stuff is is way between, cheaper than $100. Yeah, between $20 and $50 is right. kind of our normal range. We occasionally will sell a $70 item. Yeah, so. it's kind of rare. Yeah. Uh, Luann uh, donated $10. Awesome. Thanks, Luann. 
Uh, she says, um, Mar Marika, I guess is the brand. Yes. Leggings are one of my best sellers. Yes. yes. Very good. They do sell quick for us too. This. Mis Mr. Tries a Lot says, greetings from nice and mellow Canada. Yes. Look what at we that. got here? That's a nice purse. Boom. Yep. So yeah. it says M-A-I-K collection. So these sell really well for us always. They we do. almost always sell out of our we, bags and purses. Yeah, we don't keep them in very long. Mm -hmm. I love that this has four zippers on it. Yeah. It's super cute. All great. right, who wants it? There We're going to listen on Poshmark. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, LaShawn says, um, hello from Georgia, the state. Uh, Kentucky Pickers one says, uh, those boots are sexy. <laughs> yes, they were. Yeah. The ones with, uh, the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're uh, that far behind? I'm sorry, guys. Start talking faster. I'm Paul. trying. Come on. Christy Barnes says, hey, guys from Alabama, love your videos. Clark West Trading says that poncho will sell well on Posh. Yes, look at this. Yes, it's sir. a fuzzy, Sherpa lined. Wait a second. Yeah. It's like wearing Hold a tether. Uh oh. You got to pick. Okay. I thought it was broken, but it looks like they just didn't cut the stitching on it. I don't know. We'll have to check that yeah, out. Yeah, we'll have to check that out, make sure there's no hole in it. That is the joys of buying liquidation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rick is says, is there some liquidation companies that you medium. use one one to two times but don't use now? Um, we have tried other liquidation companies. We obviously like Bulk as our favorite, and Via Trading is one of our favorites. We've done a lot of direct liquidation. Uh, we have only done Quick Lots. We have not done quick we have lots. Not done we quick know lots. of quick lots. We have looked at a lot of quick lots, but we have not bought from them yet. We, it uh, looks very interesting. Was it Ninja Wholesale, something like that? Yeah, we've done a Ninja Wholesale, Honcho Wholesale. We've honcho done, Wholesale, we've done We've that. done Honcho Wholesale a few times. I do like the quality of their stuff. We just, we buy so much from everybody else, it's hard to keep up and add new liquidators. Right. But um, we're looking into look, um, buying from some new liquidators. You want to show them kind of where the progress oh, sure. is? So that's where we're at for... We're getting um, there. We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Did I open up one of these already? I am not sure. One of the Christmas dresses? Go for it. I'll keep All right. This here. is a size large. He's just going to keep going, and I'm just going to hold this up. WM King says, hello from Bill and Davey in Florida. Yep, it's going to get warm here, about 85 degrees today. Just oh to word. rub it in, laugh out loud. Thanks. You jerk. <laughs> Don't be oh, nice I to mean, him. you kind individual watching that's telling me it's 85 degrees there it's actually supposed, no we're just going to come and to visit 31 degrees um yes i think is the high tomorrow and it's here. rainy and we have a flood warning yeah because the mississippi so might come and be that some of this rain may freeze so thankfully we got our pallets delivered would be beautiful i know yesterday i said we might get a pallet delivery in the middle of this but we got them delivered at 7 30 this morning that's right jeff Ooh. anderson says hello from utah what is your favorite type of pallet uh, well, clearly clothing we like. Um, we Poshmark also goes like, well for us because yeah, of that. we because we sell so much on Poshmark. Um, we love general merchandise is kind of a good one. Yep. This is scrunchies galore. Oh yeah. This is gonna probably end up in our house. Yeah, Maybe I've, I don't know. Scrunchies are really popular right now. I feel like we're digressing back into the 1980s. As long as the big hair doesn't come back, I'm good with that. Okay. Gladys W says I don't steam either. SK Avery says, St. Louis says hello. Oh, hey, how's it going? We're at in St. Louis. We are really close to St. Yeah, Louis. Yeah, we, we are, are 30, 30 minutes, minutes from St. Louis. Right up 64. Uh, Luann uh, says, I got three packs of the Angelina Thermal Tops in my last box. Nice. Great. Those usually, if you look them up by title, will go on mm -hmm. Amazon if you're an Amazon seller. If not, they sell great. One, on cro Posh. one Crochet One says, how much time do you spend doing this? Well, we usually show pretty much live. Um, and so unboxing usually takes around an hour and then listing usually takes about an hour. And then if I have to put anything on Poshmark, it's usually a couple more hours for a box this size. Right. So right. roughly about four hours. Oh, there's one of those, uh, leggings with skirts. Yeah, there you go. A modest legging. A modest legging. Large, extra Look large. Out. Look out, friend. Let's see. Uh, BB17MM says hello from Dallas, Texas. Hello. I bet it's warm there. I bet it is. Dog Point Movie says, did you uh, did you already give away the thumbs up? No, we no, actually still have the thumbs up. We still got to figure out what to do with those yeah, things. Yeah, we're trying to figure out. We got three out. of them. Yeah, we should give them away as a prize. So. I should put a hooked on picking logo on them and then send them out. <laughs> yeah. I my yeah. friend uh, my friend owns a trophy shop. I bet you she could just boom, put a logo yeah. on there for me. That'd like cool. Inscribe it. That'd be sweet. I, Margaret Hall, says, just wanted to drop in and say, hey, y'all. 
Hi, Margaret. Uh, Debbie Taylor says, uh, hi, hope to hear from you today via email. I sent you several this morning concerning my order from you. Love watching you guys. Yes. Debbie Taylor. Uh, Christy Barnes says, uh, uh, hey, guys from Alabama, do you have uh, a tax number to buy from bulk? No. No, we do not. Here's the mer These are Mika as well. There's two of them in the same thing, which is awesome because it was listed as one item in bulk, but yet I got two, and I'll probably be able to send both of them in to bulk. Good. Or Indeed. to Amazon, sorry. Not bulk. Uh, LaShawn says, here in Georgia, we have a thrift store that on Wednesday you buy anything for a quarter. Nice. And you can find brand new shoes and clothing. Awesome. This has Christmas puppies on it. Christmas puppies. That's right. Pet stuff sells really awesome. It really does. What? It, it's a dress. It's a dress? It's a dress. Look at it. Oh, hold on. Let me try to get a close-up of it here. That's amazing. This is a dress. Just hold it right there. What size is it? Look at it. They're all smiling. They're all smiling. And are they all different? Yes. Or is it a pattern? I think it's a pattern. Yeah. That is amazing. Is amazing. It is. It is a size medium, hot edition. And look, it comes with a belt. Awesome. <laughs> that is superb. I love that dress. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Aline Robinson says, I love to watch your videos. It's 2.37 a.m. here in Perth. Woo, 237. You are dedicated, Aline. Uh, Clark West Trading says, I found a vintage 1910s tweed men's overcoat from London at a thrift store and sold it for $190 plus shipping to Japan. I was so pumped. Yeah, that's it, awesome. You really are treasure hunting when you're out there. Yep. It is fun. Here's a Leo Rossi cardigan. Is that a, nope, it's just a shirt just with a shirt. buttons. Oh, shirt that's with a good buttons. One. What's the size, size everybody? Size large. Uh, nobody will get that one but Heather. No, I'll put this Christy on. Barnes says, I, I meant guys left a lot. I got you. Uh, <laughs> Mace Crawford says, the green bag would work for men too, maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe. Is it? Would you call it a merce? A merce. It's a man purse. <laughs> man purse. A merce. Uh, I buy, sell a sparkles. Satchel. Says, hi again. Hope everyone is having a great day. Hello, sparkles. Uh, Wallace says, you guys need to move to Florida. That way you can go to the flea market every Saturday or Sunday, every I weekend. I would love that. Uh, are you around? Uh, I'm so sick of this song. <laughs> oh, All right. Okay. That's cool. A sweatshirt with cute little elbow size mediums. Yeah. Really, really soft. Mays Crawford says, bulk is my favorite too. Um, uh, K-A-E-V. Not sure I say that. Ooh, I'm very late. Uh, laugh out loud. That's uh, all right. We still got stuff to unbox. Yeah, uh, we do. Gerald says, uh, do not do quick lots. I have, it's a big problem. I had to go back to my bank to fix issue. Huh. Huh. All Thanks right. for the heads up there, man. Yeah. Uh, ooh, new one there. Hey, my favorite people call me Nana. Cool. I think we had a grandma. We, we had a grandma or granny. And yeah, Granny. It was granny. granny. Yeah. Um, uh, WM King says, price is right. Come on down, folks. That's right. <laughs> Uh, Dom G says, uh, Happy New Year 2020. Yes, Happy New Year to you. I buy Sell Sparkle says, What state uh, you in? We went from teens yesterday and tomorrow it's going to be almost 60 degrees. Uh, we are in Illinois. We're in Illinois. We're in southern Illinois, closer to St. Yeah, Louis. Yeah, we're 30 minutes from St. Louis. Yep. Oh, here's a gray with the buttons. Beautiful. It's, very th it's a very thin material, which is very lightweight. Size medium, Leo Rossi. Nice. Let's see. Um... Uh, uh, fat girl sewing. I like that. <laughs> it's a confident individual. Yes. So his bulk is my favorite too, but my last case of brand new items wasn't so brand new. Really? Oh, well, made for a good unboxing on my channel. I thought, hey, um, call them. Uh, call talk to their customer service. If it yes. says it's brand new and you find damaged stuff in there, you need to call them. You can get some compensation. Yeah. Um, I have done that many times. Usually they'll work with you. They won't give you like if you were... You know, thinking that was going to sell for a hundred dollars, they won't give you the they hundred dollars. They won't do that, but, but they'll each, do like per item. If each item was worth five fifty per item, right. and then sometimes they'll give you the five fifty, and then sometimes I've even gotten a little more compensation with shipping. But just put right. all the information of which item it was and everything. Here is a green green dress. dress? It's a long dress. Uh huh. Size nice. small, Zienna Outfitters is what it's called. I buy sell sparkle says that's crazy New Hampshire weather. Uh, Donna says it's six degrees and snowing here in South Dakota. Whoa, South well, Dakota. You probably wish you were here. Yes. Uh, Ashley says, I love scrunchies. 
<laughs> uh, Maybe I should list all those. Ashley will buy them all. Gina says, uh, will you be doing any more what sold on Poshmark vids? Yes, I just haven't had a chance because I've been putting out so many unboxing videos. Right. So We, we find that uh, our YouTube get... subscribers don't really like to watch them as much. Yeah. So Here's a list Lou. Kind of a wide off the shoulder yeah. kind of top. Really thin and very comfortable soft material. Uh, Roger says, hi from Canada. It was hi. great to hear from Paul's mother, Janet, yesterday. Good. My mother is an awesome woman. She is awesome. She really is. If you haven't seen the live stream so, from yesterday, check it out. She has a very strong faith in the Lord, even through lots of trials physically. And mm -hmm. she's kind of rebounded lately, which is good. Yeah. And uh, always very cheerful, always looking on the bright side that God has a purpose and a plan. So Galaxy by Harvick. Sweatpants. Very blessed to have the mother I do. And there is a pair of sweatpants, everybody. Sweatpants. Keep talking. Charles says, hello, Heather and Paul from Wyoming, and it's currently around 20 degrees. We always talk about weather on our I live know. streams. Yeah, what do you do? Uh, I buy, sell, sparkle says, BRR Donna. Mace says, uh, do you pay your business, do you pay your business when you see something you want to keep? No. She I, just steals it. From I the business. steal it from Hooked on Picking. It's a. It would be a good thing to do. But yeah, we do it not would be. It. But I buy sell sparkles has snow and a snowman. Nice. Karen Lord says, "Are there any prospects on a candy palette soon?" I get those from direct liquidation. Direct normally, liquidation, yeah. And I just keep checking, and my guess is they will start putting them together for the Christmas candy. Yeah, it's always after season yep. candy is what it is. So and the ones so, we were selling were Easter. Right. And so that was. I mean, we got them. Four months after I think Easter? They'll, I think they'll do a Christmas candy, then I think they'll do a Valentine candy, then I think it'll be Easter candy. I yeah. think that's kind of how it will be. This is a cool top. Extra large. Yeah. Well, it's so comfy. It's so soft and stretchy. Do larger sizes sell better? Yes, larger sizes always sell better. So anything XL and up usually sells really fast. Yep. We do find that if you have an extra small or small, we have a hard time selling those quickly or for good money. So I don't know what that says about America, All right. but it says something. We eat, uh, too, question. we eat too many donuts and coffee. Question. That's Do you it. recycle the bulk boxes and your other not needed cardboard? Um, so we're terrible people and burn. And well, we burn well, some. A we, lot of the bulk boxes I utilize to ship my right. stuff into Amazon. That, and so, that I will not burn. That no. will go to Amazon. Uh, Amazon. So we put <laughs> shipments in this, and we also ship a lot of our larger items. Like right. I've got actually some pet beds I'm getting ready to put on my Hooked on Picking channel and stuff like that. Some coffee makers. So I save some of these big boxes to do some shipping. The bigger pallets lately, we've had we've got a great couple in our church, Jeff and Amelia Morgan. They own Recognitions in Aviston, Illinois. They do trophies. They actually made this shirt. Yeah. So if you want a shirt like this, I can get one ordered for you in Jeff, any size and Jeff color. Jeff is a wonderful woodworker. He uh, retired from the military, mm -hmm. and he makes shadow boxes. Yeah, he also made those two things on yes, the wall. Yes, he did. The, um, that's specialist. That's the rank I was when I got on the military. And then he made a Department of the Army flag for me, and he made both of those by hand. And they live four miles from us, yeah. and they take a lot of our cardboard. Yeah, he uses them to... Uh, pad around his woodworking right. when he ships it. Right, and that, so a lot of it does get recycled. Anything yeah. that's been like spilled on. But if it's a small piece and stuff like that, a yeah, lot of times it gets thrown away. Or, or to go, we live in the country, so we're, we're We also okay burn wood so. in our fireplace, and so sometimes we use a lot of that for our fire starter. starter. Yeah. yeah. Here is a cardigan, really nice, kind of pretty green cardigan. And then there's a black one. So it was Size a Size extra large. Yeah, it was a, it was a two yep. pack. Yep. Let's see, SK Avery says, I'm in Baldwin. Uh, Christy Barnes says, I'm... I've watched all your videos. You guys are a blessing. Awesome. Thank you, Christy. Uh, Agonitha, Agonitha, Agonitha. Here's another set of those PJs, size yep. medium. Agonitha, I think it is. Says, sorry, I have to go now. You guys are great. Bye. Um, bye. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Han says, we just ordered our first pallet. Nice. The adventure begins. The adventure begins. Yimmy Reyes says, I ordered another bulk box. Uh... Box shoes today, my third one. Good luck to me. Aww, Laugh out loud. Look. That is so a, cute. Is that a little one? Well, it's stretchy. It would fit my head. Yeah, a lot of times hats are like one size. Yeah. You know? It's really cute, though. They have uh, used to say one size fits all. Now they're saying one size fits most, if you've noticed that. <laughs> is it because people have fat heads? We, we have, our heads are getting fatter, apparently. <laughs> um, if you like the content, feel free to donate. If you like the content, feel free to hit that thumbs up. We are at 77 thumbs up. 77. Could we, could we hit 100 thumbs up? That would be Ooh, amazing. That would be superb. What do we got there? I, no, I don't know. It's a she jacket. She doesn't know. 
That's a small jacket. It is a tiny little jacket. Is it an extra small? Or is it a Junior's? It looks like a Junior's. Like one of those little half crop top Yeah, kinds. I think so. Let's see. Orange Snapdragon says... Love Orange your... Snapdragon. Like says, love your videos. Uh, looking to start a Poshmark store. Having trouble determining what price per item I should try for on bulk. Or if I should go more thrift store route. Any advice from the group? Um. Oh, from the group? Right. He I, doesn't care what You know, I to be to honest say. with you, we started thrifting. Yeah. You start getting things figured out price-wise a lot better that way, and you're not buying a large pallet or even spending a lot of money on a on a on a case. Right. So what here, do we got there? Here are some boot socks, and this is actually an Amazon barcode. Yeah, that is an Amazon. So barcode. either they discontinued this listing, or Could've. it sat there like six months, and then the person had it returned, and then they got rid of it. Um, so what are those boot socks? Boot socks, tiptoe, yeah. tippy toe. Yep. So I'll probably sell those as a lot as well. Okay, Jennifer says, hey guys, awesome videos. Uh, uh, hooked got me hooked. <laughs> uh, waiting for my first bulk box to come in. Wish us luck. Awesome. Definitely. Good luck. Aline Robinson says, uh, love the t-shirt. Nana, how much will it be? Oh, the Nana one? I don't, I don't know, know yet. <laughs> don't know. We'll look it up. Probably my guess it'll start at 20 yeah. Because of the Christmas. We've been starting a lot of the Christmas yep. stuff around twenty dollars. So twenty bucks. We'll get the Nana one, try to we'll try to get that one listed tomorrow. Right. Here is a Leo Rossi red dress. Yeah. It is size medium. I think we've gotten a I want one to sing the so song, but I won't. Yeah. <laughs> Heather loves to sing songs. But we don't have If copyrights. you want to see Heather sing, she's been linking our services at church and she sings on the praise team. Yep. My wife has a beautiful voice. Aw, thanks. She does. Fat Girl Sewing says, uh, I did. They were good about it. Another reason I love them. Yes, oh, I'm bulk. glad. Uh, call if it's damaged, call. Yep. Uh, Chris says, uh, how do you determine a resale price? Uh, MSRP, question mark. We, um, we usually get the MSRP for each box that's listed, especially from bulk. We usually get about 30, 35% of what the MSRP is listed, but that's not per item. We just go and look and see what other people have it listed for and then price ours accordingly so that we're competitive right. in the market. And then we do discount if it's sat there for a long time. We don't like to hold right. on to stuff. This is a really cute pair of kind of lounge pants. Uh, another trick for that, when you go on Poshmark and on eBay, those two sites, especially if you're selling on those, look for completed listings or for sold the items. items that have sold then that tells you that what the market really is calling for because i could list something for five thousand dollars but it'll never sell sure. but it, once it gets down to 20 maybe it's sold and you right. can see consistently what is the price it sells right. for uh tammy says uh, hi again you too i'm from uh here's a pair of marika I'm leggings from... those yoga pant leggings like we've had before and <gasps> Look out. Two more things left. I got a gazillion questions to go for. Okay, go for it. Let's slow down. Um, hi, uh, Tammy says, hi again, you two. Hi from John and Tammy from Alcott, New York, 30 minutes from Niagara Falls. We are on Lake Ontario. Yes, pants. Skirt leggings. Oh, those skirt, skirt, skirt pants. leggings. Skirt leggings. Elaine says, hello from Oklahoma. I finally hello. caught you guys live. Nice. We're doing a live unboxing. Yay. I buy sell sparkle says uh, OMG if I had a candy palette my kids would be bouncing off the walls. Yes. Yes, gotta be careful. Uh, R and K resell sending you love from Wisconsin. Awesome. If you guys also if you'd like to donate, go ahead and do that while we're live. We're gonna make sure we address every question that's on here live. Don't worry, right. we won't leave you out. And we're at ninety three thumbs up. Thank you. I like wine and <laughs> maybe three people. What does wow. it say? I didn't even know what it said. I like wine and maybe three people. And maybe three people. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's it. Okay, Kurt and Lori Johnson says, good morning. How fast is it really fast sale from post to sale? Oh. Uh, by the way, oh, oh, how fast is a really fast sale? Uh, okay. Same day. There have oh, been some. They of the say, by the way, Mike uh, at Via Trading says hi. Oh, awesome. Mike's a good man. He is a good He's guy. A good we man. actually just talked to him on the phone yesterday. Yep. So. We ordered uh, more so, stuff. So how fast is really a fast sale? On Amazon, sometimes we've had items... Sell before they arrive to the warehouse. Sell before they get there. Um, two to three days is usually a, a pretty standard fast sale. Poshmark, we've actually had some stuff sold within sell an hour. Same, within an hour. Yep. Yeah, I have posted things on Poshmark and they've sold within an hour. Yep. And that to me is pretty amazing. Yep. But um, traditionally that's not the case, right? So... But a lot of like when we first upload 20, 30 things, mm -hmm. you know, you'll get within that first week five or six sales. Yeah, of so. those new stuff. Yeah. I think it also algorithms 
uh, pop up and they push your product because it's new yeah. for a little bit. Let's see, Gladys W says, are you going to do a processing video for this box? Uh, probably. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. We hadn't actually planned on it, I don't think. Yeah, we didn't but, plan on it. But uh, we've been doing a lot of these boxes lately, and I think people are starting to get the hang of that. Yeah. Uh, Dana says, uh, please give me advice uh, on first thing to do if interested in doing resale. Um, the first thing to do is go find some products to sell. Um, yep. Set aside separate money that's going to be separate from your regular personal finances, and then just say, okay, I'm going to take this 50 bucks, go out thrifting, go out garage selling, go out liquidation buying, and buy something. But do your research. Make sure you know how much those items are going to actually sell on eBay, Amazon, things like that. And so um, if, you do, if you do want to sell on Amazon, start the process right now getting an Amazon seller account because it does take a length of time to get approved. Right. Don't, don't hop online and buy a truckload right away. Do not. Don't do, do that. that. Buy one to two you items in the mind. clearance aisles or at thrift stores. Start right. that way. Start slow yep. and you'll pick up the pace yep. and it, it'll get good quick for and you. And then you'll be covered up in boxes like me. That's right. Uh, Michelle says, hello from uh, Forreston, Illinois. Love your channel. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Elliot 45 says, hello from Heather and Belleville, awesome. Illinois. Love the processing videos. Belleville? Belleville. We should, we We're should very have close. coffee together. We should. Uh, Mace Crawford says, uh, didn't know you w were in the service. Thank you for your service. That's right. Awesome. She was a diesel mechanic in the I Army Reserves. I was a diesel mechanic in the Army Reserves. She could take me out any moment of my life. Yeah, I was a really good shot, too. Yes, she I was. I was on a rifle team in high school for yep. fun. For fun. The only She's one a good who could, shot. Yeah, the only one who could shoot better than me is my brother. If anything ever got bad, I'd be the guy just reloading the gun for my wife. <laughs> Which isn't probably manly, but it would keep me it alive. I'll tell you that right alive. now. <laughs> Mama can shoot. Let's see. Uh, Kabuji? It says, uh, uh, Ahoy from Mackinac. Mackinac Island, that right? Cool. Awesome. I've been there a bunch of times. Yeah, have. I have not yet brought Paul, but I plan to in the future. I Buy Sell Sparkle says, uh, Dana, my opinion is to research a lot and figure out a game plan uh, for which platform to post on and what you would like to sell, how much time to put into it. Awesome. Question, does the fellow retired military gentleman that does woodworking have a website or slash contact info that you could share. Always respect the craftspeople. Absolutely. His, um, if you just Google search recognition in recognitions in Aviston, Iowa, A V I S T. Illinois. Sorry, Iowa is where we used to live. Yeah, Aviston, Illinois. So recognitions in Aviston, Illinois. They have a Facebook page and also contact information there. They make shadow boxes. Yeah. Beautiful work. Just check them out. Je Jeff and Amelia, they're true craftsmen. They are. They, they really are. are. And really great people. They go to our church. He's right. one of the deacons. It's awesome. You will not get a cheap shadow box. You will some not. cheap wood that breaks or something yep. like that. He's awesome. Uh, I Buy Sell Sparkle says, oh, and Dana, very important to figure out your workspace in your home. Yes. yes. Donna, that was called a shrug uh gladys w uh cell hound helps with pricing uh mimi Teresa bruckmeyer says i know of baldwin i was born and raised in south county area in, uh, in afton most of my dad's side of the family live in baldwin ellsville and chesterfield oh what well, are we up to for thumbs up we're at 102 102 we made it over 100 woo -woo. very good Sorry. You, just I'm excited. Dated, you just dated yourself. Listen, with I was a 90s child. That's right, you were. And an 80s child. Wallace says, uh, the fatter your head, the smarter you are. Laugh Amen out loud. to that's that. That's right. Wisdom. We'll keep thinking that, Wallace. Yep. Me and you, man. Orange Snapdragon says, thank you for the advice I really meant uh, from you guys on the on the group. Awesome. I think that autocorrected. You always get a thumbs up from me. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. Uh, Luba. Saying that wrong, probably. Says, hello from San Francisco. Thanks for this video. Very informative. Cool. Uh, Rick says, I have to go. Thank you so much for all you do. Jennifer says, oh, the wine shirt sold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marion says, hi from Florida. A uh, kabuji. Do you experience many returns from Poshmark? I have, I have not had any yet, but no, it is inevitable. Okay, so I do know it's super difficult to do a return from Poshmark um, because I bought something off Poshmark and it ended up being a junior size instead of a women's size. And so I tried to process it and basically they denied my a return. And so I think that's why we don't get a lot of returns from Poshmark because it's kind of a little bit more it's difficult. A little harder. But I have gotten returns. I've gotten probably 
since we started selling last year, I probably gotten a total of between five and ten returns on Poshmark total from all the things that I've sold. It might be a touch higher than that, but it's not much yeah. higher than yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, I probably get a return like once a month, once every other Maybe. month, and I do some yeah. serious volume on Poshmark. Yeah. I'm usually packaging anywhere from five to 15 items a day. So. Yeah, yeah. See, I buy Soul Sparkle says, laugh a lot, Jennifer was so funny. Uh, um, is it Marion? I think it's Marion. Uh, says, I love you guys. Allen Robinson says, awesome. uh, you not get uh, Poshmark in Australia. I don't think, are no, they're not international they're yet. They're not international yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think they're yeah, international. Sorry. I bet you they will become. Yeah. Lost Treasure 73 says, Tammy D, I live in uh, Brock, uh, Port, New York, about 45 minutes from you. Joanne says, hey, Heather and Paul, sneaking you in at work. Awesome. Oh, don't get fired. Don't get fired. Uh, the Flat Earth Guy says, Al Gore Rhythms. I don't know nice. what that means. Dog Point Movie says, "What happens? What happened to the the TVs? Are they unboxed yet?" Uh, yes, Saturday. You'll see them on Saturday. Yep. Um, I think they're all sold too. Yeah, uh, I did sell them all. Yeah, Joanne says, "Tammy D, I went to school in Brockport." Chris says, uh, "Hey, hello, hey Heather and Paul, it's me, Christine from El Paso, Texas nice. here." Uh, Bunkles Garage says, do you ever save any Amazon sellable items for FBA instead of FBA? Oh, save them instead of putting them on FBA? Yeah, on something that you think would be easy to ship and fast sell. Um, if I can send it to Amazon, I usually do unless the fees are too high. If the fees are yep. too high for Amazon, then I put it on a different platform. Yep. Bunkles Garage says, hi again from New Jersey, by the way. Awesome. Uh, Doug says, hi from West Michigan. What's your uh, ratio of returns on your platforms? Well, like we said, on Poshmark, it's very low. Mm -hmm. I think it's difficult for that. Uh, Amazon, it's probably 1 in 10, 2 yeah. in 10. Yep. Uh, Amazon can return for anything. Yeah. Any reason. Yeah. And there's a lot of times. That's not I get, exactly true. But there's so. a lot of times I get Amazon returns and there's absolutely nothing wrong with right. the item. It's just they got buyer's remorse. Right. Um, and eBay, that's, uh, we haven't had any returns in, in quite a long time. Except for that coffee maker. Yeah, coffee, well, we had a cell phone case, but that was not our fault. Yeah. Cell phone case. They bought the wrong one. They bought the wrong one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We, we did accept the return, though. Yeah. Lost Treasure 73, Joanne Beckles, yep, college town, laugh aloud, us locals can't wait for college to be done for the summer. Uh, Jennifer says, I buy, sell sparkles, yes. Uh, Hell yeah, 45. We could have coffee instead. I just purchased a consultation call. Awesome. Oh, great. Thompson Jennings says, uh, do you use pirate ship for shipping stuff? I have, and I like it. Uh, much cheaper sometimes than eBay shipping. Oh, I have not, but I've been seeing commercials about it, and so I actually thought about looking into it, but I have not yet. Uh, Kendra Taylor says, how long... Uh, how long it's take to get approved to sell on Amazon? Um, most people that I've talked to as of late says it usually takes about a week. Um, but I've heard as long as two to three and as short as three or four days. Yep. Picky Pants, yes on Pirate Ship, a uh, box in a bag, cubic rate saving huge money. Awesome. Ashley says, uh, hey everyone, there's 170 people. Everyone thumbs up the video. Thumbs up. Yeah, thank you. We already have 109 thumbs up. That's nice. am that amazes me, guys. Thank yep. you so much. And thank you for the donations, too. That's yeah. very kind of you. Yeah, to do anytime that. we do a live stream, you can actually donate. Um, it's called the Super Chat. So um, that's, that's really great. awesome. Uh, Chris says, how much are the boxes you make to sell for sale usually? Do you get a lot of jewelry that's custom? Um, I don't get a lot of custom jewelry. It's usually kind of um, shelf pulls and things like that from department yeah. stores. Um, and so I don't usually make a lot of those kinds. Um, and then um, I had some cell phone reseller boxes. I do have some shoe reseller boxes. Um, and those are listed on my hookedonpicking.com page. Right. Uh, Picky Pants says the same with Pirate Ship using the custom export rate for first class international shipping, four pound and under. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for the heads up. Jennifer says, you guys will uh, will never get off this live. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yes. We've got lots of questions, which I totally love. I'm sorry. I love We're it. trying. I'm trying. Gladys W. says, I think there is a Poshmark Canada, but they don't cross with U.S. platforms. Okay. Thompson Jennings says, Poshmark is only in U.S. and Canada, but U.S. can't buy from Canada and Canada can't buy from U.S. Uh, Angie says, hi from the U.K. I watch your show every day and really enjoy watching. Awesome. Uh, you tuck into those huge boxes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Tammy says, yay, Brockport, good school and nice town. Thank you. Uh, WM Keen says 106 and counting. Yeah, we're at 116 thumbs up. Wow. As I read this right now. Nice. Uh, Chris says, ideas for first items to resell online from thrifting, etc. Easiest sites to resell. I'm computer stupid. Laugh out loud. Okay, easiest site to resell probably is eBay because um, you can list directly off your smartphone. Yeah. Um, and then, but you do probably need a desktop to print the labels once it does sell. So that would be a suggestion for me. And then good. easiest items from a thrift store, find anything new in box. Like yep. it's brand new in box. And just be aware, anything you buy from a thrift store, you need to make sure that you t are able to test it unless it's completely sealed. And if you ship it, will it break? I usually try to stray away from anything that's glass or has parts that can be easily broken off. Right. Heavier so, the item. Yeah, and light items. We made a, uh, Heather made a reselling guide. Yeah, I have a, um, a hooked on pick and reseller guide that gives you a list of 80 separate items that I look for when I go to a thrift store in order to flip online. It right. also comes with a an Amazon seller platform, things that I look for in specific checklists that you want to make sure you have for Amazon and eBay. And I'm looking into creating one for Poshmark right. as well. I'm teaching that to my son right now. Yep. Uh, going through those guides again. Chris says, oh, no, I read that. Kabuji says, I use Pirate Ship also and love it as well. Awesome. I'll look into it. I will Aline, definitely have to look into Aline that. Robinson says, Aline Robinson says, how do you get the Nana t-shirt? We will try to post that as soon as I we can. I will put it on Poshmark as soon as we can. Jose1984 says, hi, from Puerto Rico. Uh, Jennifer says, uh, this was awesome. Thanks a lot. Awesome. Uh, Gladys says, do a video on Pirate Ship if you look into it, please. Yeah. I will. Oh, yeah, definitely. I will, for sure. Picky Pants says, Pirate Ship is free, by the way. Uh, no fees of any kind. Just have Yay! to sign up. I love free. Even better. Patricia says, uh, hello, watching from Apple Valley, California. That sounds like a beautiful place, Patricia. Yes. I buy sell sparkles says I have a printer to print labels from my phone because I refuse to own a PC. Yeah, you problem. can you can get a Wi-Fi one, yeah. and I print stuff from my phone all the time. Yep. Uh, R and K resale says how many items do you normally list a week? Oh. Oh goodness! Last week it was over two hundred uh, between Posh and Amazon. Well, we had a hundred alone on Amazon, and so I'd say we were mm. probably closer to three hundred last Could week have been. two to three hundred probably a week right but that's across all platforms yeah it's not just on poshmark right uh let's see here gerald says any word on your ebook that is a goal it's a goal i have for it. 2020 i know to write an ebook i do want to write an ebook she would do great at on it on reselling and gladys w says how many items do you keep listed on poshmark um, we try to stay around the 300 mark because if you get above 300, sometimes it's really, really daunting to try to do any kind of sharing. And so 300 is good and manageable for us. Right. We have as high, had as high as 800. Yeah, we've had up and to 800. And that is nuts. Well, and what happens shared. with that is when you have that many items, it's really difficult to try to find the item when it sells. Yes. At least in my kind of right. chaotic You have to have a very good inventory system. Mm-hmm. Uh, Debbie says, uh, that's what I ordered and said it's delivered at your front door in Trenton. Yeah, I read that too, Debbie. I don't know what's going on with Okay, that. so this happens all the time with my stuff. So if this okay. happens, just don't freak out. Um, when they pick up, sometimes they click the delivered button when they scan the item and it says oh. it's been delivered in Trenton, but really they just picked it up. And okay. so that means the next time they scan it, you'll get proper um tracking information so if that ever happens to you it's because your postal carrier just hit the wrong button and i think it's fairly easy to do i've talked to him a couple times about it and he says he's sorry and it's really really easy to do so that's what happened is he clicked the delivered button instead of the picked up button sure okay hopefully that answers your question debbie mm -hmm. uh, on that uh dog point movie says we have poshmark but that is not connected with america sad yep. face yeah lost treasure 73 says i sell about 20 to 30 items a day on ebay and only use pirate ship awesome great uh That's tiffany great ebay sales too tiffany bridges says what licenses do you need to resale um it depends on the state you live in um right. just ask him about a reseller's license we're in the state of illinois we do not need a resale license and then some liquidation places require you to have a resale mm -hmm. license but we normally just go with ones that don't. Right. Four Row Girl 42 says, hi. Luis Rodriguez says, hi, from Puerto Rico. Awesome. Picky Pants says, uh, physical books you write to sell much better and make way more money over ebooks. Yeah, it's a possibility. Possibility. We're going to look into it all. Yeah. I Buy Sell Sparkle says, uh, you ever consider the live auctions uh, through 
PayPal for viewers. No, no, we have not. I haven't seen those. I've done live We need auctions. to look into something like that. We've done fire sales, but we didn't have a way that people could buy, like, right buy away. instantly. You yeah. Know, so uh, let's see. Lost Treasure 73 says, my postal carrier has done that before. I buy, sell, sparkle says, uh, you can offer cheaper, uh, let's see, you can offer cheaper price without the platform for you. Yeah. So if we sell directly through PayPal, then we can. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Cheaper. Definitely. Uh, Debbie says, uh, okay, that makes sense. I'm not far uh, in St. Louis area. Yeah, yes, it does answer. Thank you. Great, okay. Debbie. Okay. I, I hope it gets to you in one piece there. Uh, let's see. Wallace says, I have a Furby that came with a spoon, but it's not in a box, and I try to look it up. I try to see how much it goes for and could not find it. How do I find it? How much it would go for? Um, <clears throat> if, it, if you got it from bulk... Utilize their manifest. Um, sometimes yep. it's just hard to find stuff. Right. I would go to, for Furbies, I know they're on eBay. Go to eBay, look up uh, completed, completed listings, listings on Furbies, and you, if you don't find yours, you'll find one comparable to it. And then you'll know how to price it. Yeah. Let's see. Chris says, thank you. Uh, R&K Resale says, great content. Thank you. I Buy Sale Sparkle says, have an, uh, have an auction on YouTube, and then people can bid. Mm, we'll have yeah. to look into that. There's got to be a way. That'd be kind of cool. It'd be like the Home Shopping Network. Here, you can buy this. <laughs> Heather from Hooked on QBC. <laughs> Picky Pants says, Pirate Ship imports eBay sales right into the platform. You just have to ask them to link your account. Cool. Awesome. Ashley says, thanks, Heather and Paul. And I can't believe this. I have caught up on questions. What stopped the madness? All right. Do you want to give them a little bit of a tour of what we actually unboxed? If you haven't seen... Okay. I'll give you a quick tour of everything you see here. Can yes. I... Uh, Allen Robinson says, can I get it from Hooked on Picking the Nana t-shirt? Um, well, I'll probably throw it on Posh as soon as I as soon as soon I can. Well, I mean, I can put it on Hooked on Picking. Because then go. I can do free... Then I can do first class shipping for it. So, yeah. There you I go. will put it on Hooked on Picking probably first thing tomorrow morning. Good deal. So just be on the lookout for it there. I buy, sell, sparkle, says laugh out loud. Works good for some eBay resellers I follow. Okay. Uh, WM King says uh, 1, 2, 3, 2, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know what that means. Lost Treasure 73 says uh, just do a search on YouTube uh, auction. Awesome. Uh, Paul says I do YouTube auctions. Cool. Yeah, I got to look into that. Yeah. I I. Paul, give me a call. We'll talk. <laughs> That's right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, shoot me an email, and we'll set up a time. We'll chat about the YouTube We are caught up. All right. Here's Heather. All the, right. That right over there is her workstation. Yep. That's where she makes the magic happen. Yep. And as we scan around, our beautiful sign. Yep. And all of this stuff is listed on Poshmark, eBay. Hooked on picking. Hooked on picking. And then and along the back wall, it. there are cabinets that all that stuff is back stacked on. Wall, you can kind of see there. The gray the cabinets, cabinets where we store all our parts, Mark. That's right. And this is all the stuff we got left to go. To unbox. Yes. Over here are pallets. We have four pallets. We still have to go. This pallet here that has TVs on the bottom, that one has already been unboxed and will be soon. You will Saturday. see it. Saturday? Yep. Great. Saturday, Saturday, that will be out there. But all those TVs, man, Heather, put those. what would you put those on? Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace. They have all already sold. It's amazing. Yep. Well, at least people are saying they're going to come and they're coming. To, pay they're going to come so. and pick it up tomorrow. But over there is kind of our. We have one pallet that we kind of keep trash and stuff, things that are broken. Yeah. I mean, badly broken yep. and that kind of stuff. So it's a hot mess right now. Yep. Uh, we're going to try to get it all cleaned up. Um, but you know, with the holidays and everything, we kind of had to make sure that we put lots of product out there, and then you know, um, then we have to you know, catch up after all the time off we had in the holidays. So thank you so much for joining us for our live unboxing. Thank you so much for those of you who donated. That was super awesome. I love being able to talk to you while I was unboxing. Um, if you guys love this, go ahead and tell me Tell me so. Uh, clearly, we had lots of viewers on because of it. So we'll go, we're going to look into doing unboxings. Um, I may find a pallet that has less items. We don't want to do a thousand item pallet. But if I find a pallet that has like... 50 items in it, we may actually do a live palette unboxing. And so hopefully it's been fun to watch this and you can ask questions along the way. Um, if you want any of the items, please shoot me an email at hookedonpicking.com. Give me a specific item or do a screenshot of the picture. And that way I can for sure get that listed first thing tomorrow for you guys. So hopefully it's been fun watching this and thank you so much for all the questions. Are we caught up on all the questions? Awesome. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. <laughs>